What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. No stipulations today, it does not seem. So, we're just going to be drafting like normal. I'm eating some snacks, though, because I don't want to get cranky. And you guys wouldn't like me when I'm cranky. Still got some raisins going. I also switched to a new pair of aligners this week. Just yesterday, actually. So my teeth are like real sore right now because they're because you can feel that movement. His teeth are real sensitive now. I guess the straight guy who lives in my parking lot is a fan of the stream because he was mowing up a storm last night. I forgot my drink again. Hold on. I'll be right back. Anything good. A great titan and a volcanic island. Oh, and a Teferi? This pack is legit. I kind of like Teferi here. I kind of like it more than Grave Titan and more than Valk. Yeah, I'm just taking Teferi. Ooh, Badlands. I like Day of Judgment. I got my drink. We're good. Hello, chair. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it... Do you just take this... Uh... Oh my god, all these phone calls, man. This is unbelievable. Could take Choops, too, and be, uh, be Esper. I like Esper. I'm just going to take Day of Judgment. Day of Judgment effects have been so good for me in this cube. It's unbelievable. I'm going to take C-Chrome Coast here. I was much like pre... I really dislike these. Shut up, phone. Leave a message if you want to talk to me. God. I think I answered my phone. It's 2019, man. I'm going to take C-Chrome Coast. Fixing is so important. Going full Chions. We got Tefri, man. Holy butt nuts. Moldrifter, Fractured Identity, and a Eugene? Good lord. I don't know what to take here. Dimitri is not afraid. Tell me what to take. Fractured Identity is pretty busted. I think it's Fractured. Okay, good. I'm glad you said that. I was gonna take whatever you said. Enter the Royal, that's kinda dude. Why is there a Fumigate in here? You got Day of Judgment, Fumigate, and Wrath of God. Would you recommend Invisalign to someone who is considering it? I I use uh, Smile Direct Club, actually. And... <laughs> it's funny, I had the... I had on the desk my very first aligners that I ever put in. Like, if you look now, it's going to be a zoom in. Like, pretty straight. Oh, it's totally straight. And same thing at the top. My teeth aren't actually black. That was just the, there's no lighting. And the uh, the green screen is weird about it. So, um, yeah, my, my teeth are super straight. So, like, I mean, I, I'm kind of blown away by the improvement. I'm going to take into the role. Fumigate might come back. I don't mind having a battle sphere. Careful consideration is just draw four. I actually took that way quicker than I wanted to, but nonetheless, it's still good. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm very happy with it. I'm actually thinking of taking approach, especially with Teferi. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm like, oh, man, I don't like the way that looks. No, my teeth are actually pretty nice. Like, whenever I go to the dentist, they're like, you have really nice teeth. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I don't want to brag. <laughs> I don't want to brag. I really don't, because I've... 
my teeth are just, they're, they're pretty average so i don't think it's i want to stop talking now because i'm getting just tell the opponent hey man you want to have a tooth off i bet my teeth will be straighter than yours revel art kind of sucks here yeah i'm actually just going to take the bullets just in case I like Cyclonic Rift. Luis does not like Cyclonic, Cyclonic Rift, and I do. I like it. Excellent. <laughs> Alex is like, excellent. I have no idea what she heard, but I, she was like, excellent. And I was like, oh, I'm glad you think so. Oh, the Cura came back. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this because it's a red source for a Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Gray Merchant. What the... All right, well. Boy. This really dried up. Also, why don't we just Jeskai? Eh. I don't mind putting you in the main deck. If we can find a way to get double black, we can just play Nicol Bolas now. Well, Ashiok. Also, Merfolk Looter, Sphinx's Rev, and Phyrexian Metamorph. This is a hell of a pack. Oh, Revelark does resurrect really. Unfortunately, we didn't get that Revelark. We also didn't have Kira at the time, which would have been, like, decent. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be Ash Shocking. Like, we're already, we're already trying to get this red in here. I think it's Metamorph. I think Sphinx's Rev comes back. I kind of like Worn Power Stone. You play it on three. You play your five and six drops. I'm okay with that. It might be better than Tamiyo. I do like a Deep Analysis a lot. I like a Solemn Simulacrum as well. I'm going to take the Worn Power Stone. This pack is pretty terrible for us. It's either Mass Manips or like Tithe Taker. Maybe Tide Taker is actually just fine. I don't know, man. I don't know. I always feel like this is way too much white. Or way too much blue, rather. I think it's just Tide Taker here. I guess if we're red, it could be like Flame Slash. Yeah, I don't hate Flame Slash here. I'll, I'm going to go with the Tide Taker, though. <laughs> uh, oh, Karn and Upheaval? I just feel like I've had Manip so many times and I've never cast it once. Four blue is just so ridiculous. I think it's one of these two for sure. Oh man, I love I love upheavaling. Plus we already got a an approach. If we go approach and then upheaval. Or I guess we don't win because you'd have to like find it again. We can also take through the breach and hope for the best when, with in that in terms of that. We're gonna upheaval. We're upheavaling, boys. I like marsh flats here. We can find a way to make it work. Time Warp. Oh, I like Time Warp with Planeswalkers. And with Approach the Second Sun, for sure. Mm. Could take a Deafening Clarion. We did not get the Fumigate back, so... I'm actually okay with that. I don't think it's Sundering Titan. I'll take an Evolving Wilds here. I'm not going to love it, but maybe...
I take the bonfire. Actually, I'll take fight with fire. Fight with fire is main deck bowl and like maybe just get to ten and blow them up. Um, maybe we're just straight up Jeskai. We're seeing a lot of green black. All right, I'm going to see what this message is. Hold on. Wow, and then we see literally Vraska, Graveborn Muse, Mind Slaver, Farseek. Remember that time we were talking about how the black and the black and green cards are pretty present? Yikes. All right. Well, this is two packs in. I'm not thrilled with our deck right now. Emrakle. Cryptic Command. Where are my fixing lands? This is not a this is not a reliable amount of fixing lands, just to be clear. I think it's just Cryptic Command, but it's triple blue? Ugh. Gross. Could just take Worm Coil Engine. That's a, just a big, fat idiot. What are you talking about no fixing? We got a C Chrome Coast. You don't know anything. I think it's just Worm Coil here. Avacyn's also nice, but I don't think we... I think I'd rather just have the, the big, fat dummy. Oh, Marshlands gets our Scrub Flats. Marsh Flats gets our scrub land, and that was still not exciting. Hero of Bladehold. We meet again for the first sun, or is it the second anyway? How's the draft went yesterday? Which one? Which draft? Um, I think it's just Hero of Bladehold here. Because it just wins you games. It also survives Deafening Clarion. Yeah, I think our red looks fine. I don't think it's worth... I don't know if it's worth playing. But the problem is if we take the red out, our deck is terrible. And then we have 15 playables. And I'm not going to play Augur of Bolas under any circumstances. I can see playing Murmuring Mystic. But here I'd much rather grab like a Magma Jet. Oh my god, there's literally just like no lands for us. It's really weird. I like Compulsive Research here. Yeah, Compulsive is way powerful. We could also move this Phyrexian Metamorph over here. Tundra! Ta -ta 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 Tundra! Now we can get that with Marsh Flats. That's pretty gas. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, now our deck just went from 0 to 60. Ba -da -da -doom. Boom, boom, boom. Glacial Fortress? Please. Somebody up there likes us. Somebody up there likes us. Bane Slayer? Oh, Control Magic? Oof. Oof. Yeah, we can actually replace Phoenix with control magic I like that oh I actually like Brightling hmm. maybe Benton's fine too I don't know we can also just play Pyroclasm we can get Tundra with our scrub with our scrub tomb Heath
I don't know what to take here. I'm just going to take uh, Brightling. Oh, Looter seems like a nice little pickup. We can board in the Death and Clarion. We already have Day of Judgment here. Oh, wow. Conclude Tribunal and Blessed Alliance came back. Also, Chandra is not terrible. Uh, I'm not I'm not thrilled on the double red here. We have three red cards, so we'd go down to 19. Yeah, this time the Hydroid Crassus comes back when I'm literally in the... Uh, when I'm in the Soul Tie. 24, we cut three. We can bring in Murmuring Mystic, actually. Oh, Niv Mizzet, wow. Jeez. Like, we actually, other than Cliff Top of Tree, we have no red fixing and Evolving Wilds. It really is just very decent. She's a very decent threat. This is 21. What's that? What are the odds Augur even hits? This deck does not look very good. I, I, I feel bad about this deck. I don't think we're winning anything in the in the earth. We could just play more red. I don't think I hate that. Yeah, sure. Maybe we can cut Forsake if we really need to. You're, you're, you're. We could just play Niv in place of Upheaval and hope we hit it. That's super greedy. I don't hate Mind Slaver, though. Uh, I've always been impressed by Brightling. I don't know why you think of medium. That's weird. That's weird, man. Brightling consistently impresses me. It puts a lot of pressure on the control decks, and it gains you some life against the aggro decks. My dad's girlfriend just gave me a whole leg of lamb, and it's a lot of meat. That's that's how legs work, though. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five red sources or white sources. This is nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources. Three, four, five red sources. I'm okay with that. Uh, you don't have to have spells for Niv to be great. You have to draw cards and uh, you can do that. Or your opponent has to try to kill it and that's going to happen. Or you could cast any of the spells in your deck. Like... For Niv Mizzet to be good, all it has to do is exist. It's a 5 5 flyer that can't be countered, that deals a damage every time you draw a card and replaces itself when your opponent tries to kill it. Snap keep. I'm pretty sure we get a red here just because we don't have. Mm. Well. My line of thinking for Niv-Mizzet is that, like, if you can cast it, you're getting max value off of it, right? Like, the, the barrier of, of value on Niv-Mizzet is casting it, right? So once you can, once you can breach that barrier of, like, oh, man, I can make, I can, if I can make three black, or three blue and three red, then I'm going to get maximum value off of this, you know what I mean? If your deck can't cast it, you just can't cast it. I think it's just, it's that, it's... He he he's he asked for a lot. Hmm. 
Psalm Simulacrum is pretty good here. Okay. Need a second white, second blue, second blue. Take I'll take any of them. Well, even if we hit Mountain, we can at least cast Tribunal, but we can't actually cast it on anything, so... You know what? I'll take it. We tried, Magic, and that's the important thing. Can I, can I probably get a Day of Judgment off the top? This is actually pretty comical. Oh, you got you got mother runes. I'm probably just gonna scoop after that. <laughs> that was pretty pretty sad. I got real excited and then I got real sad for a second. Oh god, I just hit the reveal hand button. This is all terrible. Everything is terrible right now. We're definitely bringing in deafening Clarion. Oh my god, everything just sort of happened. Everything just fell apart right there. Why is there a glacial fortress in the sideboard? I don't know. A solid question. That's weird. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue sources. Oh, add another one of these. Take one of these out. Sure. Cue the current. <laughs> yeah, alright, so that's weird. Uh yeah, I'll keep the sand. This is actually pretty good. Man, I really don't want to definitely clear around into Akira, but Hmm. I like that. We'll be back in the high life again. So unfortunately, this mountain really cost us because if we had blue, blue, we have white, red, blue, blue, then we can do lots of things. So they can attack for three on Teferi. I think we just play Teferi and then next turn plant a Deafening Clarion. That's actually not bad. We can fight with fire that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. One, two, three, four. So we can go one, two, three. Seems okay.
Igen. Y'all got any more of them Teferis? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're very, we're close and yet far, right? I really don't want to get bounced around here of a blade hold. One, two, three. We're obviously keeping Tundra. We can get rid of Mountain and Marsh Flats. I mean, if we just wipe the board here, I mean, you just lost Niv Manas. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, if they want to bounce Teferi next turn, that's fine because we get to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We get to replay him with 9 mana. I'm okay with that. Oh, don't shame concede if you pass. Like, don't F6 and then shame concede. Just play it out. I feel like the shame concede just makes it worse. Yep, that's fine. God, I always almost do that. <laughs> I think I have brain damage. I wanted to feel it real hard. I just wanted to feel something. Oh, man. Uh, I guess we'll play this. We could play Aurelia here, but then she just, like, gets hit with the... I almost rather play Kira. I mean, if you want to hit my Tefri, I can go down to three. That's totally fine, but. Cyclonic Rift. Well, that was a real cool thing to do. Four, five, six, seven. So we have eight mana, so we can go Power Stone, Teferi, I guess. Or we can just go, well, we want to actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, next time we just get to fight with fire for like a bajillion. They have one card in hand. We have seven. <laughs> They've conceded from the game. Sounds good. A noble, a noble choice, my friend. A noble choice. A noble phoenix choice. Oh man, Niv Mizzet, you've been doing so good though. The one card I'm afraid of is here of here of blade hold. Can we just splash this from Askerworm? We got the we got the, the the scrub flats in the marshland. We don't have those. So four planes, four islands is the configuration and one tundra. Uh the sand seems good. We got a magma jet and a lutero core. Good times. 
Oh, found a win condition. You got it. Big loots. Well, that is a dude, isn't it? Oh boy. Well, that is what's known as some unfortunate pressure. We're looking for a blue land. Show me a blue land. And that's a red land. I'm discarding that because it doesn't allow us to cast Hero Blade Hold or Brightling. I guess we could cast Aurelia with it, but I have a feeling after drawing all those spells, we're gonna be we're gonna be all right. We're probably dead. We did it. We're very good at this game. Hmm. Fascinating. It's gotta be a really right. Is that better than hero? Does she have vigilance? She gets vigilance, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Oh, they're just gonna bounce it with Riftwing Clouds Kid. Are we actually dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Holy Jesus. Oh god, we're basically dead. Yep. Yeah. No boy now. This is gonna this is vomitous. I mean if we can draw Day of Judgment. <laughs> we have two cards, huh? Two cards in a day. Otherwise we uh, we're dead. We're quite, quite dead. Or Deafening Clarion. And them not having a counterspell. These are the... These are the... Okay. 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 What are we getting rid of? Next turn, we're going to have six mana, so we're just going to slam. If we Teferi, I want to be able to play Magma Jet. I'm just going to get rid of Hero here. Okay. No, I'm not pitching a Planes because I want to be able to play Warm Coil this turn. Because they can't fractured identity it. They could they could copy it with like phantasmal image, but then we just get to uh, get rid of it. Yeah, we're still gonna gain the six, which is the important part. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually keep up magma jet. We can actually play. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Let's play you. Magma Jet you. And then we just gain a million here. If we Teferi Tuck, they're going to get the two guys, and then Teferi's going to be at one. And I ain't about that. Yep, this is fine. We get two guys to go back up to ten, and now we have Teferi, Brightling, and Careful Consideration in hand. Instead of Aurelia, we could have played uh, Teferi, but I like having the body on the board at this at this point. Yep, that's pretty good. But we can tuck that, and we can also pump the worm. This is actually, we're in very good shape here. <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, we're just tucking it. M -m -m mentor take eight gain four got him wow remember that time we were gonna lose because we went to two life yep don't care about that thing is it creatures in your graveyard x is never creature cards in your graveyard so what you get four and we would get one two three four four we would also get four Coming back in the high life again. Mm, Tithe taker, in case you have like a spell. I think this game's over. Wow, what a game. What a game. Oh my god, Luteral Core, you saved us. Let's make sure we bring that Glacial Fortress in. Holy crap, that's awkward. Nine days into my Prime Resub. In case you were keeping count, I wasn't actually, but I appreciate the update. We'll be back in the high life again. Who sings this song? Back in the high life again. Steve Winwood. If any of you guys knew that in the chat, I bet Pernicious Dude probably knew that. Spaghetti Toucher knew. Wow, that's hilarious. I'll keep this hand. We have a, we can get a, a red with this and we can get a tundra with this. I think it's fine. We got a compulsive. Can't bring me a higher love. Whoa. Bring me a higher love. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to add a red mountain. Steve Wormwood. <laughs> That's not his name. The biggest problem when I sing is like, I don't want to get demonetized because I clearly sound identical to these guys. So it's just really awkward when I'm like, you know, you guys know. Cultivato. His birth name was actually Steve Winwood because he's a clarinet. Actually, it's Steve Woodwind. Wow. You messed up your own joke, you dummy. Um, so we have seven, we go down to six, we go up to nine. I just don't feel like we need a compulsive here. We have plenty of things to do on our following turns, whether it's copy play this play this guy we can just wait until we have things until we run out of gas uh oh they're gonna play obnixilis oh shit I don't I don't no one cares about that oh man a flame tongue kavu in the trash can that's good to know hey subalaba are you going to pump this and draw? Oh, you're going to make a little beastie boy. I'm going to tell y'all it's sabotage.
If we copy Frexian, if we copy this Hero of Bladehold, that seems good, right? I'm no, I'm no expert, but... Boy, I wish Fight with Fire was an instant. Is Merchel coming anytime soon? I think you mean Moochel? Actually, with the two the two U's could be a long sign. Moochel, I can get that. No, he's at work. Mike has a job. Thank God, because that's how I get to live in a house, because he, he pays his share of the rent. I really don't want you drawing three cards. I really don't want you to do that. So what can I do to prevent you from doing that? These are the questions we ask ourselves. We could just fight with fire this, and then you have to double block here, but then Garrick dies. I think that's not terrible. We can also Teferi Tuck. The, the old Teffen Tuck. My problem is Teferi goes, then goes to one, uh, which is not exciting. I wish I had one more mana, but I mean, like it's not like we missed any land drops. Because I want to be able to fight with fire and uh, Metamorph here. I really gotta get this dude off the board. That's really what it comes down to. I'm not no <laughs> there's there's no there's no real way to say Moochel. That's just a fake name that I made up for him. We got you on the shops big screen on the West Coast. The pre FNM crew says Cupo JavaScript, where are you who who is this? Who's Cupo JavaScript? I don't recognize this username. Always be crying. Always be battle crying. So the thing is about this is that's nice is that you have to actually double block the hero in order to to kill it, but then you don't save your Garuk. Garuk is on fire. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. Eric, which Eric? Dang it, why am I drawing blank here? Sammy, what's going on, buddy? What is the opposite of a peasant? Uh, a lord, perhaps? Not Jones Soda Eric, right? Well, ex Jones Soda Eric. Because you're like the only Eric that I know on the West Coast. Oh, fantastic. I knew it. I was like, really? I guess this is good. Oh, we're going to metamorph that dude for sure. That's nice. Well, I'm a little scared of it, but... Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. So I guess we're, we don't have to actually take damage here because we can only do one thing anyway. Hitting a land here would have been nice because then we can Worm Coil, and Worm Coil is a cool dude. I also wish we just hit Control Magic and then we could just steal this, which would be better to attack into, but, you know, magic's hard. Plus they can't Garrick for at least another turn. Yes. Let's get stupid Sea Chrome Coast and we'll get stupid Clifftop Retreat. Seems good. Yeah, so if we attack, they just go block, 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 and it doesn't do anything. That's really sad. Eric, what store are you guys at? Man, Primeval Titan is a hell of a drug.
if we could draw a Conclave Tribunal, that'd be gas. But we're, for right now, we're just going to condemn this guy because uh, I want to be able to attack through with our Primeval Titan. So we could also just approach the second sun here and try to try to live. Would you say hi to my Canadian girlfriend from a different school who's visiting me this weekend? Caspi, yeah, definitely. Hi to Caspi's Canadian girlfriend who doesn't go to this high school. She goes to a different school, so you wouldn't know her. But, uh, you know, good to, good to see you. So one thing we can do is compulsive research, try to hit a land. We could also just play Worm Coil. I, I really kind of, well, I'm at a point where I really just want to wipe the board, to be honest. Even though they get a bunch of 1-1s, one I don't really care about that. Also, Deafening Clairound would be sick here because we get to keep both of our dudes. So let's see if we can find nothing. Let's hit a land, get rid of you, play you. I mean, we could just Teferi tuck the Garrick. Or we can tuck the Hangerback Walker. I think just careful consideration. But we can also do that next turn. There's a lot of things we can do, guys. I don't really want them to draw three cards because it seems like their hand is pretty bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. They have a lot of damage on the board. She apologizes for making me disturb you and wants to send you Tim Hortons. That sounds great. I'm game. I think we're tucking the hanger back walker here. Because I don't want them to have anything on the board. And we're actually going to try to hit Garrick here. And if they want to sack a bunch of dudes, that's totally fine. Uh, let's get a one, two, three, four, five white. And West Coast Sports Cards wasn't trying to advertise. <laughs> no, I didn't think you were, dude. That's awesome. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five white sources. We have one, two, three, four, five blue sources. We have two red sources. I think we're just getting a plains and an island. I find it really impressive how we pay attention to the chat and the game at the same time. I usually mess that up terribly, so. All right, this actually cleaned up the board pretty nicely. They get to keep their Garrick, but they don't actually have a way to uh, draw any cards. They're probably just going to shoot this guy EOT. I, I would. They would as well. All right, that's fine. Careful consideration is pretty strong here. We could also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we hit any land, we can go uh, approach the second sun and careful consideration on the same turn. And that puts us pretty close to uh Oh, did they just put Siege Gang back on the top? Oh, they put Flame Tongue back on the top. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they're gonna draw four. Oh boy. No, they did not draw four. They just made a beast. Man, they're they are keeping this Garrick around for sure. I mean, we're pretty much due for like a Wrath or a Deafening Clarion, right? Ludorel Core is actually pretty close. It's not close at all. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. If they attack with hissing quagmire, ten mana. I mean, we could literally just careful consideration, hope to hit a Wrath. We kind of have to. Uh, one, two, three, four. Still have not hit a Wrath. Okay. Oh! Mind Slayer. Oh, we can't activate it, though. Dang it! Biscuits! We have we played a land this turn? One, two, three, four, five. Huh. 
God, if we try to fracturing identity this, they just... I guess, I mean, I guess we just fracturing identity to Garrick, right? They could sack two tokens and kill it, but, I mean, then their board is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's still pretty bad. And then they kill us with the... Oh, my God. Still no Deafening Clarion, no Day of Judgment yet. This is crazy, dude. I think I should play Worm Coil Engine here. I'm going to discard Mountain and probably Looter because I don't care about either of those. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are three lands in our deck. So if we hit another land... Um... I don't know what they could have that deals with worm coil and like efficiently. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna sack three dudes to kill it. This is crazy. Buddy, you know I get all these still had all these wormy boys. That was EOT, and then they oh then they just see Jang back. Four, five, and then they have five mana left over afterwards. Yikes, man! They are making some use out of this one Siege Gang commander and this uh, Volarath stronghold here. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. And they can shoot. They can shoot the lifelink guy. I mean, surely we'll draw it now, right? Surely we'll... If we hit a land, we can also Mind Slaver, which is pretty good because we can... We can do the same thing. Oh my god, they just keep making beasts. This is crazy, dude. Right now, we're just trying to... Uh, but they're out of they're out of siege gang siege gangy boys, so I can actually exile this. This is nice because now they can no longer keep getting this guy back. And I'm actually I mean, if they if they they could just play Flame Tongue Kavu and uh, let's just play Kira here, or we can play Worn Power Stone. This is negative three to draw three cards. Maybe we just kill it. I don't know, man. I'm gonna Worn Power Stone. The problem with... I don't want to drop Kira because we are trying to hit Day of Judgment or Wrath of God or whatever. Yeah, they just got the Flame Tongue back, which kills this guy, which is fine. Because we're just trying to survive here. This... I wanted Mana for, mana mana slaver, mana for Mind Slaver with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we already had 10. When did we get the 10th mana? Did we just draw it? I thought we only had 9, but whatever. I don't care anyway. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It's blowing my mind they haven't drawn three cards or four cards with this yet. Like, we're just trying to stay alive. Finally. F -f -f Finally. Um, so we can Mind Slaver here. What does that do? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. All right, your turn. Eternal Witness. 
Oh, great. This is nice. Go for the throat. Oh, man, we're doing... We're doing all the things. I wish they had more things we could take advantage of. Um, let's just draw three cards here. I want to be able to... I want to be able to take advantage of their nonsense. Hanger back walker for zero. Oh, then we can just use their damnation. That's great. So how much mana do we have? One, I want to be able to use this and put like Seder Wayfinder on the top. So that's three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can go... Hanger back for zero, obviously. Seems good. Um, Eternal Witness. Get back. Cancel. Do you have to choose something? Yeah, we'll just get back the Hanger Back Walker again. Oh, we just say no. That's fine. Um, <laughs> we can... Oh, we could have done that. Yeah, we could have got Decay to kill their own Liliana. Yeah, that's pretty good. Would that have done it? One, two, three, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. I don't. I, th I don't think we had enough mana for it though. Uh, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Can we activate their land too? One, two, three. One, two, go for the throat. One, two, three, four. I think we're one mana shy of doing all the things we want to do. I guess go for the throat doesn't really matter. How much mana do we need? Two more? One, two. Why can't I use this one mana? What's going on? Okay, damnation. One, two three, four. And let's put your Seder Wayfinder. Actually, that's just worse, right? Let's put... Let's activate this. We'll put the Elves of Deep Shadow on the top. That seems good. So you have Go and Lil, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and A. Let's go land, we'll go one. Uh, one problem with this is that we can play take my money we're just gonna play brightling here lord stip can't draft any commons or uncommons lands mana sources and power are exceptions okay good <laughs> sammy thank you so much buddy appreciate it all right i will uh, put this in the queue that's why you asked what the opposite of a peasant is that's hilarious so they can actually go for the throat this guy we could just bounce it so then they just waste their go for the throat Being able to get back Eternal Witness, though, is pretty nuts. Volrath Stronghold is a little scary. Yep, that's a good one. Getting back Flame Tone Convoy, sure. You got it. Uh, let's give one of these jobbies. 
I'll give it negative one plus one. And negative one plus one. You got it. You're gonna shoot it too. Little shooty tooties. Okay. And now we will bounce it. Why would I bounce it in response to the Kavu? Oh, because they have to shoot one of their own guys? Yeah, sure. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, because magic's weird. I feel like most of our draw spells are in the trash can now. All right, so seven is gone. We just have to actually survive six turns. Where's our Conclave Tribunal? We've gone through so many cards. Sphinx's Revelation would be amazing. Yeah, I guess an 06 would have survived too. I mean, I don't think it matters at this point because, like, we can't really get through their board anyway. I mean, I'm tempted to day now, but then they just get to go, look at, oh, get back, Eternal Witness, I'll play Flame Tongue. I have a go for the throat. So they can go, go for the throat on Kira, Flame Tongue on Kira. Which I guess is fine. Yeah, Volrath has been doing some work this game for sure. Yeah, being able to get the Abrupt Decay and kill Liliana was a huge misplay. Kira. Tithe Taker. And we are out of cards. They have 17, we have eight minutes. This is ridiculous. Is this game one? Oh my God. They're doing so many more things than us and like this is game one, it's making me kind of sad. Um, all right. Flora Stronghold Eternal Witness is pretty insane. It lets you just get every card, any card you want at any point. Well, that is fascinating. Where were you ages ago? We don't have go for the throat in hand. Sure. Guess we'll just keep playing it. Six is gone. All right, so now we have actually no responses, so. How many turns until some? About five, about five turns. I don't actually know what our draws are. Like, Fight with Fire sucks being gone. Teferi sucks being gone. Careful consideration or and uh, compulsive research all suck that they're gone. Oh, they finally just drew some cards with Garrick.
Wow. Never thought I'd see the day. Also, go for the third scan though. So. Yep. Into the royal. Uh, might as well actually bounce this now because. That's fascinating. What's your nationality? Is it Cuban? I will see myself out. Eat a sandwich. What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, okay. Well, isn't that special? Uh, we have six cards in our library. I don't think we're going to even use this ability. I don't even know if we have any basics left. There's an island, a mountain, and a plains in here. No, there's just an island and a mountain. I think we have one plains left. But I don't think it's worth shuffling our library to, to deal with that. I think they're trying to race this this approach that's coming. Like, they have to win in, like, two turns. No, oh, internet looks like it's fading. Yep, all right. So, 839. Got it. 4 slash 19, 839 p.m. Okay, cracking a fetch land. It's very interesting. I don't know what's going on here. Let's bounce it again. So now we're going to two. Something that draws us cards, perhaps? I don't know if that exists. Huh. One, two, three. Play Brighty Boy. Time Warp Us. There's that Plains. Attack Liliana. And next turn we should be able to approach. I can't imagine they have anything that can disrupt that. So we're going to go to game two with six minutes on the clock. And that's going to suck. Unless they actually drew like Kozilek. That doesn't do anything. And it actually almost kills you. Well, we won. Uh, we won in theory. We won in spirit. Oh, we don't have Clairon in the main deck, I guess. Yikes! How do we deal with all this nonsense that they're throwing? All this shade they're throwing at us—it's unbelievable. We're definitely bringing in that. Yeah, I don't know if we can win a, a second game in, in, that, in that amount of time. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. I also don't hate Rekindling Phoenix here. All their creatures kind of suck. They don't even like control magic here.
We have six minutes and 41 seconds, so I will definitely keep this hand. Gets even better. All right, so now we can cast everything we ever wanted. Sure, sure. Oh, that was a really good hit. Wow. Two, three, one, two, three. Seven. I imagine they got two forests. Yep. So they can play their Garrick. Underrealm Lich. Oh boy. Tux McTuckington. Next time we get to one, two, three, four, five, six. Get to activate Teferi and then Teferi. And then get to Time Warp. Yeah, this is only game two. We're probably going to lose just because of time, but maybe not. If we can draw a pro chair, that'd be gas. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually compulsive ourselves. Discard a land. This play you play hero. That seems okay. Go for the throat. Don't go for my throat. I mean, if we get to play Kira and Time Warp next turn, that's pretty strong. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Wow. Wow. That's insane. One, two, three. All right, well, it is what it is. We are uh, getting a little flooded here, getting a little flooded. I'm just going to pass here. I don't really see the benefit of time warping here with nothing going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll also have 10 mana, so we can play a f any 5 mana spell. Like, if we play, like, a Rekindling Phoenix into a time warp, it's much better, like, an Aurelia or something. Aurelia and Kiro is kind of a nombo. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well... That's going to be hard to deal with. Bottom, top. Time warp. Target myself. Two, three, four, rekindling Phoenix. I mean, they're at 11. We have them on a two turn clock here. Abrupt decay, sure. You got it. That cannot be countered. Uh, yeah, we'll just vote homage. I'm not gonna... It doesn't matter. I feel like in a two-player game, if one player votes homage, just resolve it as homage, because, like, it doesn't matter then. If it ties, they either tie or they win, in which case, they win. So it's like, just have it... Don't make me vote.
We just get our chick. Oh, lifelink. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty bad. Yep, that's pretty insane. I don't know how we beat that. What about your right to vote? <laughs> that's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Yeah, Whiplash plus uh, Abrupt Decay really actually turned this game around for them. Well, we're just done. All right, so now we're definitely bringing in Forsake. <laughs> and we can take out, maybe like Day of Judgment. I don't think they're overextending as much anymore. How crazy to face if is it if I put Niv Mizzet in the deck? Pretty crazy, right? I don't think that's good. Control magic actually seems better now that we've saw like Undercity Lich Boy. Maybe control magic's still not great. Maybe it is? I don't know. Keep. Well, I do like careful consideration here. We're going to make sure to play an, a mountain in case we happen to draw a... Or a Kindling Phoenix. We're able to play it. Come on, play in quick. I don't think we're going to fight with fire, the Arbor Elf. <sighs> Might fight with fire, that guy. But we are not. Uh, wow, we have all the wilds and planes. Pretty bad. Pretty bad hits there. Ugh, this card is just surprisingly good when when you're ahead. Surprisingly not good in other situations. This is uh, just a weird, awkward situation where this guy's very good. Take two, play Whip of Erebos, attack with this guy. We all know what's happening. Hmm, I see. Oh my god, Mind Slaver is right. That's worse. I 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're fine. Mm, boy. Coercive portal. They drew witness. Oh my gosh, what are my biscuits? So whip on top, portal's gone, whip. I think they're digging for an answer here. Abrupt decay, assassin's trophy in the graveyard. One, two, three, eternal witness, a trophy. White, oh, they only have one green though. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a close one, boys. Vraska does, and also Corsair does. I'll take Abrupt Decay. Oh, I'll take black cliff cliffs. Sure. Wow. <laughs> my god we found the line <laughs> oh my god dude that was insane that was insane wow If they didn't play Vraska, if they didn't, yeah, if they didn't give me a way to get an, an equal denomination of four, of four life. Oh my god, dude. Even if we lose this match, I'm just, I don't even care. We're done. Pay four, 100, pay four bits. Oh man, Mindslaver wins us that game. Wow, what a bonkers match, my dudes. Oh man, I should have taken a second. That was insane. And we have two minutes on the clock, dude. Uh, I don't think we want Wormcore. I don't think we want either of these, to be quite honest. We have four lands. I want playables. That's a playable. We could Compulsive here, which I think is probably better, and then just keep our... As long as we can hit one more land, which we did, we will discard Mountain. So next turn we can go Brightling, keep up a bounce mana, and then we can go Tepery after that. Wow, that was that was that was bonkers. Actually, we can just pass here into the Royal Der Bird. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, I kind of like into the royaling the bird here. 
Because then if they want to play it again, we get to tuck it. Oh my god. And we might as well prevent four. If, if our hope is to tuck it after they play it again, then... I mean, they can kill us with Lava Claw, but then I guess they don't get their... They don't get their Tuckerino. Yep, that is fine. Then they go one, two, three, attack with Lava Claw, and we get boned. I don't want to get boned. All right, we'll just play Brailing here. I'm not ready to throw away a Teferi. Teferi is like a win condition. <sighs> Two minutes on the clock. We had six minutes after game one. And then they play Underrealm Lich and we get to steal their turn and make them kill themselves. I That's just... That is chef's kiss if I ever saw it. If only there was proof. No, don't don't be crazy. I really want a day of judgment here now. How do you get Vidge with a white source? Hmm. White source Vidge. Lifelink. Pump pump. Pump 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 pump. They have two cards in hand. I think we're gonna time warp here. Just that guy, huh? I think it's a draw a card? Wow. All right. You gonna kill my dude in response? Whatever. Nobody cares. I really just want to approach here with careful consideration in hand. All right, so we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, approach. Seems good. Now they're like, we got to attack with everything. All right, so one, two, three, and then it gave it three, so it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Sure, I'll take twelve. Oh, let's take a black light for this. We are now down to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight mana, so we can go Teferi. If you do it during your main phase, right? One, two, three, four, five. No, eh, we're just gonna play. Let's just play careful consideration here. This draws us four cards, so we get to go. So we get to go rid of three, rid of four, rid of five, rid of six. Have we played a land this turn? We played a tundra. So we can go shoot this guy, condemn this guy. Let's get rid of lands, get rid of marsh flats, and probably island because we do want to. We're probably actually, if they attack with Lava Claw Rages, they're probably going to deal with that. And I, I bet they will because they're trying to race this here. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Because then next turn we can tuck the Rekindling Phoenix and then we just win. Unless they can kill us here. Nope. That well, oh they got if they have a three damage spell in hand, we're just dead. And they're coming at us pretty quick here, so I'm pretty sure we're just dead. 
Oh, no, they just concede. Wow, did not see that coming. This deck does not seem like it should be doing this well. I think a better play would actually, since we're going to win the game anyway, we should have just played Phyrexian uh, Metamorph on the Rekindling Phoenix. That was a pretty loose play. Yeah, I like them just letting us know we ha they have that. That was that was nice of them. Now I know you have Glorybringer, so I will keep that in mind. Rekindling Phoenix keeps seeming good. I'm going to take one Plains out, add another Mountain. Control Magic also seems pretty good here. <laughs> you mean a robot chicken? Would you say it's a robot chicken? I'll take the Mind Slaver out this time. I'm not sure how good it's going to be. I almost don't hate Murmuring Mystic. A lot of four drops, though. Oh, look at this. Double white, double white, single white. Red, blue, red, blue. All mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this one. This is what's known as a better one. We gotta put a card on the bottom, huh? Get rid of Aurelia, I guess. I really, It should really prompt you to do that because I'm always like sitting here like, okay, what now? All right, hands looking good so far. Are you going to another draft? Probably not after this. This is my fourth one today, so I'm likely going to uh, peace out after this. <sighs> really? One white? So, like, we can't cast this or this without just getting dunked on from this Hypnotic Spectre? Come on. Joke's on you. I'm not getting dunked on by a Hypnotic Spectre. And Rekindling Phoenix, which is also hard to deal with, but we do have a Control Magic. Man, Approach actually winning us some games in this cube, dude. <laughs> Absolutely the rudest. I mean, I guess we're getting a white here. I'd like to get a red, but... <laughs> oh, good. Well, this Day of Judgment's gonna be nice, except for this Rekindling Phoenix. Obnoxious. We still take four, which I guess is not terrible, right? It's better than leaving everything else on the board. I mean, unless they untap, go Glory Bringer, and they hit us for 8,000. And Grath also pretty nuts. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. I mean, it's turn seven. We missed three land drops and... Not ideal. Not ideal. Um... I actually might want Deafening Clare on. Now that we've seen like a bunch of little... Little dirtles. We'll take out the... Actually, Kira's pretty good against what the creatures we do have. Take out the Tithe Taker. Actually, that guy seems like farts oh yeah snap keep this 
all the colors. We got a looter. The, the worst part for me is that, like, after I play a game, like, after I play the match like we just did, where I'm rushing at the very end uh, to make all these plays, like, even now I feel like I'm rushing to play. Um, it's hard to get out of that rush mode. So right now I'm like, oh, God, I'm still, I'm still trying to play real quick. I'm like, land, go. And it's just, like, it's super stressful. That was a perfect draw because now we can into the royal and we have Kira, which is pretty good here. Man, this guy every game. We're probably just going to bounce it. We want to be able to find some action for next turn. He said my neatly stacked lands are triggering him. His lands and permanents all spread out willy nilly were triggering me. He said he had to be prepared for chaos. So, oh my god. Get out of here, dude. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. One, two, three, four. We have six mana, right? I think we're good. I think we can just wait a turn. Well, they missed a land drop, which is fine. Oh, rampaging Ferocidon. Okay, so right now we can go Glacial Fortress. Uh, attack for two. Time Warp, Approach, and then Pass. And then we're actually only one away from just killing them with with fight with fire. So we are at seven, six, five, four, three, two, approach. Always want to keep track so I know when I'm drawing it. Oh my god, we can't gain life because of the Frostodon. That's terrible. Well, that makes our oh boy, that makes things a lot harder. One, two, three, four. So we have seven mana. Alright. Oh no, not a land. Oh no, we didn't want to do that. Actually, actually that could be okay. We could play... So we're three down. Uh, we want to fight with fire this. And then keep up condemn. Yeah, and then we just... We could just draw a million next turn. I really don't think this is punt nation by any means. I mean, what's, it's not a punt if, like, you have no other option. What else are you going to do? Not play approach? Yeah, I feel like this is pretty safe. Don't care about that. That's your play for the turn, huh? So we're at like... I mean, if they go Angress, Steel Worm Coil, we die. So... Discard two, we'll discard Hero and Aurelia. And then we just hope they don't have a discard spell, I guess. Or a burn spell. <laughs> I 
Wow, they couldn't cast that fast enough. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, you got it. That was rough. All right. Well, that was super close. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. 20% off your first three month subscription with the link and promo code in the description. You can go to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore and you get 15% off on free shipping and free returns. You can check that link out as well. And also check out coolstuffinc.com. Use promo code Frank5. You'll get 5% off. And you can also go to the article I wrote this week. Leave a comment. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.